welcome back to my channel. Now, as you know, I've been posting lots of home workouts at the moment to do while we're all in a bit of self-isolation. Just something to get you up and moving and get going because, you know, if you're able to exercise at home, it can really lift your spirits and it's good for your mental health while you're stuck inside. So, uh, today it's going to be a 20-minute HIIT workout. There's going to be lots of different exercises, cardio-based, strength-based. We're going to be focusing on our legs, our arms, our abs, whatever it is, and it's going to get our heart rate nice and high. We're going to start off with a minute of a warm-up. We're going to do 18 exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, and then we're going to have a minute cool down. So I'm going to be with you every single step of the way. So let's do this. Right, we're going to start with our warm-up. And just to start with, just do some nice shoulder rolls. Get your body moving a little bit. Start off going backwards, then change it to forwards. Nice and easy to start with. Twist your body side to side, just get things a little bit limber. We're going to start off with something that's going to help warm you up anyway, so don't worry too much. If you need to spend longer, spend longer, but here we go into a bit of a quad stretch. And to the side. And into a bit of a hamstring stretch. And then switch to the other side. Work into what feels good to you. And then try and just do some arm swings to open your chest up a little bit. Go. Okay. And then in five seconds, we're going to start off with some walkouts. So at the top of your mat, you're going to go down, walk all the way out, and then walk back in. Stand up. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can either jump into it to add extra cardio, but what I've originally written down is just do walk out, stand up. Walk out, stand up. But you can either jump in every other one, if you do one that's normal, roll out, back up, jump. You've got 10 seconds left, your first effort. You're going to do a total of 18 efforts today for that one minute warm up and one minute cool down. And stop. You've got 20 seconds to rest here. The next thing we're going to do a squat jump. Now I don't want continuous, well you can if you want, if you've got the energy to do that and you're at a certain fitness level, but what I plan for you to do is a squat and then squat jump. Land, squat jump. And we're going in three, two, one, go. Squat jump, land, squat jump, land, squat jump. Again, the more you put into it, so the faster you go, the more you're going to get out of it. But just make sure you're focusing on your form and don't hit your head on the ceiling. <laughs> That's it. Keep pushing halfway through this effort. Working your legs and your glutes and doing jumps and things like this. It's going to really get your heart rate up high because your legs are one of your biggest muscles in your body. It takes a lot of energy to get them moving. So it's going to burn a lot of calories. Keep going. You've got three, two, one, right and stop. 20 seconds rest. You should be feeling like these efforts are really challenging and then you've got to use these 20 seconds rest and they're going to feel like they're not enough. But trust me, by the end of this, your fitness levels will be improving. What have we got next? Squat kicks. Well, this is a fun one. So we're going to squat, kick, squat, let's go. Kick, squat, kick, squat, and kick, squat, and kick. Stay down in your squat while you're doing these. Again, you can move it a little bit faster if you'd like to, or stick to a rhythm that is good for you. If you're really struggling and need to stand up, take a break when you need it. You're gonna feel quite a burn in the legs by now. Add in your glutes. Just try and kick that leg nice and high. If you're struggling to get your foot off the ground, just stay down and move side to side. But if you can, get your leg up. And rest. Okay, 20 seconds to have a little bit of rest, and we're going to be on the floor for some press ups. Now, I think most people know how to do press ups, but if you need to do the regression on your knees, do so. Do them in quite a neutral position. Don't worry about being too close to your body or too far out. Try and keep them about shoulder width apart and go about 45 degree angle with your arms. So, here we go. 40 seconds. Again, try and keep to a rhythm that you can stick to the whole way through. For me, it's about this pace. I'm not too good with my arm exercises because <laughs> with diving, 
We have to try and keep it as small as possible. So arm workouts kill me, as you would have seen in my other arm workout that I've done. You just try and keep a flat line between your points of contact on your feet or your knees all the way through to your head. Okay, you've got five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Use these 20 seconds to breathe, because we're gonna go back up, and we have got a sumo squat hold. That's one of my favorites because it really does attack the glutes and the legs at the same time, and also your inner thigh. So you're gonna go down, and you're just gonna hold it here. Try and get a right angle uh, between, well, and your knees. And try and just go to drop right down. Don't stick your bum out too far and lean forwards. Just dropping straight down and holding. Just here. Take this time to breathe because it's not as intense cardio-wise. It's gonna be intense in your legs and holding that position. And just try and breathe through it. So in through your nose and out through your mouth. Get as much oxygen back in this period of time because really now you've got a minute of actual cardio rest. Try not to rest on here. Keep it up. Stand nice and tall. Make the most of this breathing time before we go into our next exercise. And rest. Woo! Shake those legs out. And we are about to go into a natural lunge. So I like to stand in the middle of that and go side, up, side, up. Try and stick your bum right back and sit back into your heels and push back up through the heel as well when you come back up. Here we go. Go. Right, left, right, left. Again, sit your, if you go down a bit further to be a bit more of a challenge, great. Just try and work your arms to be able to get the best balance. All of this single leg stuff and sideways movement, they really help with your core and balance, spatial awareness, all of that kind of stuff, which can help you in everyday life too. So keep going. You've got 10 seconds. Left on the clock, sit your bum back and you get more into your glutes. Do whatever you think you need more. And rest. There we go. Okay, so the next thing we got, jumping jacks. Everyone knows jumping jacks. Again, this is gonna get your heart rate up. This is the cardio element, we're doing a mixture of strength and cardio in today's workout. So for this next one, you're just doing your normal jumping jacks. And we're gonna go in four, three, two, one, go. 40 seconds, jumping jacks. Everybody knows how to do these. If you went to school, the playground, and we were doing these. I feel like in the UK though, we call them star jumps. Unless these are star jumps. I don't know, but we'll go with what we're doing. We've got halfway on this effort. Try and breathe, make sure that you're trying to Make the most of the exercise, but at the same time, trying to stay as controlled as possible in your movement. You've got three, two, one, and rest. 20 seconds, and then we're gonna go into some 180 jumps, or you could call them surfers. So you're gonna go from here, pulse, turn, pulse, turn. And we're gonna do 40 seconds of that. If you struggle to go 180, just do like a quarter turn, if that helps. So pulse, turn, go. Turn. And once every time you pulse, it's like landing a wave. Turn, land. Turn. Again, this will be another one that will burn your glutes. It'll get your heart rate up. And by the end of this, you should feel pretty breathless. Because I know I will. And that'll be normal. Got to use those 20 seconds to rest and get ready for the next 40 seconds. Try and keep that rhythm. And turn, and turn, and turn, and pulse and turn, pulse and turn, pulse and turn. Pulse and turn. Rest. Woo. My legs, they're burning, and I'm sure yours are too. The next time we got some high knees. Get a cardio element. Some people might find this easier than the other exercise we've been doing, or this might be the bit that they struggle with. So, high knees in five. Four, three, two, one. High knees, otherwise known as running on the spot. Try and drive your knees to your nipples nice and high. Keep pushing through that. Okay, everyone knows how to do high knees 
I'll shut up and let you enjoy the workout for the rest of this one. Whew. 10 seconds, keep breathing. And rest. Woo. Okay, going into our next one, curtsy lunge. So similar to the lateral lunge, but you're gonna go going backwards. So this is if you curtsy, you know, you just like the queen, that kind of thing. So we're gonna be going in five seconds for 40 seconds, alternating sides. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Backwards and across and down. Down, back, across and down. It's gonna hit a whole different part of your legs. You're gonna feel this probably tomorrow if you're not used to working out your legs. Here we go. Okay, we are halfway through on this exercise. Again, keep pushing through your legs at a rhythm that works for you and let your body's rhythm just carry you through this. Two, one, and rest. Okay, so the next thing, gonna be a chance to get your breath back a little bit. Gonna do some plank holds. So everyone knows how to do a plank. We're gonna do a 40 second plank, and then we're gonna be back up. So use this time to get your breath back. Make sure you're focusing on your breathing, nice long line from your feet all the way to the crown of your head. Here we go, on your elbows. Nice long line, don't stick your bum up like this or arch your back out like this. Try and keep it nice and controlled in a nice straight line. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Always try and focus on that breathing. Get as much oxygen through your body as you possibly can. I'll help you last a lot longer and make sure that you get the most out of your workout. In through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Keep going and rest. Okay, so after this next 20 seconds rest, we are going to be going in for some butt kicks. Again, running on the spot, but this time trying to get your heels to your bum. You're going to be standing with your hands on your butt facing out like so and you're going to be kicking your butt running on the spot in three two one go now if your quads are tight like mine they may not hit your bum don't worry just keep going so get your heart rate up after that plank running on the spot kicking your butt it can also be a nice stretch while you're doing this workout Going. Nearly there. In five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, similar to what we did before with the plank, but we're gonna be on our side. So there's two options for this. I like to have my top foot back so that it's a little bit easier to hold. You can either be up on your hand like this, or you can be on your elbow like this. For me, I find it more difficult on my elbow, so I'm gonna do it on my elbow. I'm gonna have one foot behind the other. Try and keep not just a straight line with your body, but also try and keep it so your bum's not stuck out like this, or you're not leaning forward like this. Try and actually stay on your side for the whole 40 seconds. Now, if you need to take a little bit of a break, do so. Ben's on his phone in the corner of the room and watch an Instagram story by the sound of it. <laughs> Anyway, um, we've got just over 10 seconds left on this side and then we're gonna have a 20 second rest. Be sweating by now, <laughs> if you're anything like me. Okay, four, three, two, one. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna be doing are lunge jumps. So we're gonna go, some people call them switch jumps. You're gonna go from here, you're gonna go down, up, land, down. And you're gonna keep doing that. And if you find that difficult, you can go from here together and lunge out and together and just keep going like that. But try and do the switch jumps. Let's go. Switch, switch. Try and do it at the pace that suits you. Nice and controlled. Going, going. Up, switch, 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 switch. 
try and focus on your form that it's only goes fast as you're able to maintain the alignment with your knee going slightly over your foot not falling in don't let your knee go in like this keep it out less than 10 seconds to go and three two one rest okay so resting 20 seconds gonna get your breath back now if you remember the side that you've just done your plank on, we're going to go on to the other side. Again, I'm going to go on my elbow because I find that challenges me more. So elbow, your top leg is going to go behind to create a little bit more support for that base. And we are off. Here we go. 40 seconds. Hold it here. Use this time to really get your breath back. You're not running around. You're in a plank position, and yes, it might be difficult, and it might be burning, but try and focus on getting as much oxygen back into your body as possible. <sighs> Breathing into your nose. That's your mouth. 10 seconds to go. You got this. Nearly there. Not got much left of this workout to go now, and then we will be done. And rest, okay. So, the next thing we're gonna do, are some squat twist reaches. Now that sounds really weird and I kind of made the name of it up myself, but we're gonna go from squat, twist and reach. Squat, twist and reach. We're gonna go for 40 seconds. Again, the faster you go, the harder it's gonna be. So let's get it. Talk squat, reach, squat, reach, squat, reach, squat, reach. Again, really engage that core and keep it tucked down. Just twist your body like this. Go down and really keep it engaged. So it is a meaningful movement. You're not just letting your body do its own thing. It's always in control. Legs are gonna burn by the end of it. Heart rate's gonna be back up through the roof and you're gonna be sweating. But it's a good one to work your core because you're gonna be twisting, you're using your obliques, using your abs, your glutes, your quads. It's a real full body exercise. And rest. Okay, so going into our an ultimate exercise and they're going to be some glute bridges again you're going to get a chance to get your breath back be on your back Woo. so if you've got your legs up straight bring your foot up to your knee that's where your legs need to be and then you're going to be pushing up lifting your hips off the ground and trying to push your hips up to the sky and do that not by arching but by using your glutes really feel like your glutes are what are lifting you off the ground try and keep a nice long flat line try not to go into any hyper extension just stay nice and flat line and then push up down up down up down up down You're nearly there keep pushing again use this time to get your breath back before we go into our final exercise and rest Okay, so you've got 20 seconds, and then we're going into our final exercise, which, again, is gonna get your heart rate up. We're gonna be doing some broad jumps. So for me, I'll try and do the length of my mat. So I'm gonna jump, turn around, jump back. Just as far as you can go, as long as you can control it. So go from here, we're gonna go jump, turn. We're gonna go jump, turn. Just try to get your hips nice and through as you jump and control. Again, I'm not going too crazy far forward because you know you've got a lot to do. So jump up, land. Put all your effort into this last set because after this we're in a cool down. Up, down. And control the way that your knees go when you land. Making sure that you're going out. Don't let your knees roll in. Keep driving. One more. Okay, well that's the most intense step out of the way. So we've got 20 seconds rest, then we're gonna go into a nice active recovery. We're just gonna be running through some movements to help stretch things out and get you ready before we have a nice bit of a stretch and then you're gonna be done. <sighs> so, into a bit of an active recovery. We're gonna go into a bit of a stretch in through our inner thigh, our adductors here. Just let it roll, it might be difficult for you to be right here so you can stay up here. Feel the stretch, you could go all the way down here. Just gonna hold here. And then switch to the other side. 
Again, if you can't be down here, you could be here or you could be here, but just try and feel that stretch through your inner thigh. I'll hold it here for a little bit longer. That's it. And now we're gonna come back up and go into a bit of a straddle position, like so. And we're gonna just touch out here in the middle and under. Out, middle, under. Out, middle, under. Out, middle, under. Again, if you struggle to go all the way down here, just do what you can, just have little pulses to stretch out the backs of those legs. <laughs> now, we're gonna go onto the floor, onto our hands and knees, and you're gonna stretch out your calves. So to do this, all you gotta do is press into the foot that is down, and try and just keep that heel on the floor, and you will feel a stretch all the way up here. It might be a little bit nervy, just do what feels good to you. Almost like a downward dog, but on one leg. Okay, we're into our stretching cool down phase now. We've done our warm up, we've done our 18 minutes of exercise, and now we're cooling down and stretching things out. There we go. Now we're gonna come down onto the floor and do a glute stretch. So, bring your leg across to the other one, and just sit here and stretch out those glutes. That doesn't need to be beeping anymore because the workout's finished and I don't know if you noticed the cut in the middle of it. My battery ran out, which was ideal. So I had to change the battery and carry on, but you know, we got there. Nearly to the end of this workout. Now, if you've enjoyed these work, change legs. Uh, if you've enjoyed these workouts, then why not try some of the other ones that I posted on my Instagram and YouTube. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll be back with some workouts very soon. But for the time being, give yourself a round of applause because you have finished this 20 minute HIIT workout and I hope you enjoyed it, you know, no equipment, we've got up, we've done it and I hope you enjoyed it and until next time, share this with a friend, share it with anyone that you need to share it with and make sure you save it because you might need to do it later. But anyway, peace and love, stay safe, bye everyone.